Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement and today in this video we will be learning two important DAX uh, which are the first date and the last date. So we will be discussing about the first date DAX and the last date DAX that how we can utilize these both DAXs in, in our Power Pivot model or the Power BI model. So we have a table here as you can you can see that we have three columns dates amount and the month so in the dates column uh, our first date is 3rd january 2019 so the data which we got from the uh, software or from from the any other person uh, the date is not starting from the 1st january whereas the calendar starts from the 1st january but the transaction but the first transaction of the january started from the 3rd january and then it goes to uh, and it stopped at 28th January 2019. So in calendar, we have the date from the 1st January till the 31st January. But in the in, in our fact table, we have the transactions uh, of the January starting from the 3rd January till the 28th January. So we can assume that uh, the last date for the month of Jan for our business transaction is not the 31st January, but the 28th Jan. Then we started from the next month uh, and started from the 1st February and uh, throughout the month we got all the transactions each day and it stopped at the 28th uh, February 2019. So that's fine. Then we came to the next month which is the March. Uh, the first entry is starting from the 5th March. So the first date for that particular month is the 5th March and then it goes till the end to the 31st March 2019 so uh, this is not the standard calendar dates but this is these are the dates which have been extracted from the system and that's the fact table that's the transactional table table and any date of the month can be the starting date or the ending date as you can see in these three months our starting and ending ending dates are not exactly of the calendar dates right so in the in the DAX language, we got the two DAXs. Uh, the first one is the first date, how we can extract the first date of from, from that particular month or the last date, right? And we can divide it into portions, like if we, if we add the slicers of quarters, months, or, or um, weekdays, so it will adjust, it will work like a filter context automatically. So let's uh, get this data into the Power BI. So I have this Power BI and I have just uh, imported this data from the Excel file and you can see on the right side I have the default table name table one in which we I have the three columns amount date and month and we will executing first date and the last date that how it should be written and uh, how the first date and the last date can be applied with some other DAXs as well so let's get start I will click on the new measure and uh, a formula bar will appear as you can see so here i will first give the measure name which will be the first date then equal space now i will write the first date dax and i just need to provide the column name of the dates so in the table one i have the column which is called dates and then bracket close that's it so I got one explicit measure that is called first date. Now I will execute one more DAX, which is, or one more measure that is for the last date. So again, first I will give the name of the measure, last date, then applying the measure, last date, table name and the column name, bracket close, enter. So when I drag this first date into my dashboard and the last date and I will change the layout visualization into the card so it automatically fetches the first date of of the of, of from that table and the last date from that table to so the first date uh, and with uh, so the first date uh, which is available in my database is the 3rd uh, January whereas the last date available in my database was the 31st uh, March right 
so this is the first date and the last date what if if i do some addition for example if i drag the month field here and let me just increase the size of the font for these values all right so if i want to know that uh, what will what was the first date and the last date for the month of fab in my data and what was accordingly for the jan and march so i will just drag the first date into this area so it will give me the first dates it's it sh also showing me the time for for that what you can do is you just click on this measure go to the modeling tab and in the format you just click on the style of the date you want so i, I will click the general date style from the slash format okay so, so the first dates uh, in every month i got that uh, in the fab i have the uh, first february available in, in the gen that is the third january and march that, that's the fifth march which i just show show you uh, at the starting of my video and when i drag the last date it automatically gives me the last date which is available in the data it, it's not according to the standard of the calendar but it's according to the database in which i have the first and the last dates remember that so for formatting the last date i will just select one of the format so see how it is beautiful that this kind of dax gives me uh, automatically that's intelligence that um, what is the first date and the last date according to the uh, filter contacts so you can uh, play around with the months or the quarters right or any other parameter uh, but uh, what is the actual purpose of having this first date and the last date we just got an idea that how we can fetch the first date and the last date generally it's it's applied when uh, when we want to see the uh, first date balances and the last date balances or the first beginning inventory or the ending inventory count or, or the quantity um, plus we can use this first date and the last date in in some other DAXs as well so let me show you how for example I create I want to uh, I want the balances of the first date and the last date so how I can do that I will just click on the new measure and here I will give the name of that measure uh, first date balance all right and I will use the calculate DAX so in the calculate DAX first, I need to apply the expression. What will be the outcome? How the outcome will be extract? So I will using this sum function, sum the amount column. And in the filter function argument, I will be using the first date. The first date, then table name and the dates column, right? So how it will be written. So what, what calculate will do? Calculate will give me the amount of that first date which will be available in my database according to the filters which i will be adding up and then for the last date balances i will again create one more measure so last date balance so i will using calculate sum of the amount column by having the last date from table table one dates column all right now i just drag the month field okay let me just increase the size of the font and the values and uh, simply i will drag first date balances and the last date balances so see how this is super cool that I got first date balances and the last date balances according to the month wise uh, and the dates available in my table fact table right so this is very easy and I hope you learn two important taxes that the first date and the last date and how to utilize them in your dashboards thank you